This video is sponsored by Squarespace. The YF-23 was the main competitor to the legendary F-22 Raptor, or at the time, the YF-22, in a contest to create the future air dominance fighter for the 21st century and counter Soviet Sukhois. Despite the YF-23 surpassing the Raptor in some of the aspects and requirements set by the government, ultimately, it wasn't the winner. To answer why and look into more detail behind the jet we never got, strap yourself in and hold on tight and meet the Black Widow 2. When first sighting the new Soviet aircraft on satellite imagery in 1978, the US was worried. New Su-27 and MiG-29s were direct competitors to the F-15C and the question of air dominance was back on the table. The government started a new program called the ATF or Advanced Tactical Fighter with several famous American aircraft manufacturers applying for the job. By the late 1986, it was decided that Lockheed Martin would develop one prototype and Northrop, along with McDonnell Douglas, the guys behind the F-15, AH-64 and many other legendary US aircraft, would start working on the other one. They were given a deadline of four years and told to come up with the very best to defend American airspace. The game was on. This jet was incredible, but despite being game-changing, the builders failed to secure the military contract. It makes me wonder if the team behind them had spent less time in the wind tunnel and more time working on their Squarespace website. That's right, today's video sponsor would have easily sold the YF-23 to the masses thanks to its powerful email campaign tools, optimization for mobile phones, and built-in e-commerce platforms. They could have had the US Navy adding the YF-23 to their cart and delivered in time to show off in the latest Top Gun trailer, thanks to Squarespace. So just like the Black Widow, when you think of innovation, think Squarespace. And when you think of found and explained, think 10% off your first site and domain. So to support the channel, click the link at www.squarespace.com found. Every click helps and trying out Squarespace today means I can keep making videos tomorrow. So cheers to those that click the link below. Back to the legend of the YF-23. Northrop opted for a completely new and innovative design with some of the elements borrowed from already known and proven concepts. Two of the signature design decisions with the YF-23 were its diamond-shaped wings and movable V-shaped tail. There were no horizontal stabilizers, rather the tail surfaces would help steer the aircraft as they were tilted 50 degrees to each side. They would help provide both pitch and yaw during the flight, with the pitch by rotating in the opposite direction and the yaw by rotating in the same direction. It's interesting to note that the Russian Su-57 borrowed this design, although they did keep horizontal stabilizers on it and vertical ones weren't as angled as they were with the YF-23 prototype. Pratt and Whitney were selected by the commission to develop new engines for both the prototypes, and they allowed them supersonic cruise speed without afterburners, a very important factor that affects the fuel consumption and therefore the range and obviously the speed of the aircraft. And it's something that the Russians are struggling to this day to develop. Anyway, the YF-23 was to be faster than the YF-22, but lacked thrust vectoring control in the engine nozzles, while the exhaust itself was made up with special materials to dissipate heat, helping the aircraft maintain its stealth capabilities. Now while we're at it, the YF-23 was actually a stealthier aircraft than the YF-22, which as we all know, led to the F-22, which is extremely stealthy and hasn't been surpassed in performance to this day. 
and there are a few reasons why this was the case. Another thing that helped the Black Widow 2 was the design of the intakes. The engines were positioned slightly higher than the intakes on the front, so this would allow the S-shaped intakes and compressor blades to be completely hidden. This is very clever because you see, in normal circumstances, radar waves can deflect in a way that would allow the operator to detect the aircraft more easily, and this choice again helped the low radar signature performance of the YF-23 beat the F-22. The internal bay was able to also carry up to six air-to-air -air missiles with possible hardpoints on the wings, just like the F-22 we have today. However, the YF-23 only had one weapons bay in the mid-lower fuselage, unlike the F-22, which has two smaller ones carrying AIM-9Xs. So with this long list of specifications and the stealth potential that it had, why was it not selected? You see, the first prototype of the YF-23 took to the skies in 1990 and was nicknamed the Black Widow 2 in honor of the Northrow P-61 Black Widow, the first aircraft to use actual radar on board. And funny trivia for that first YF-23 prototype was that it was painted in dark gray, almost a black color with the red hourglass painted on the lower fuselage, just like a mark that the Black Widow Spider in real life has. When the management found out about this, they insisted that the marking should be removed and that the second prototype was called the Gray Ghost. But we all know that the Black Widow is a much cooler name. Anyway, by this time the Berlin Wall fell and the Cold War was slowly ending. A couple years forward and the US was sure that by this point that even the whole fifth generation program was kind of useless because it didn't have any serious threats to fight anymore. But the US military, or perhaps the US military industrial complex, had a little bit of an egg on their face. They had already spent so much taxpayer dollars on these two prototype jets that they had to go ahead with at least one. And the YF-23, although surpassing the YF-22 in stealth capability and some other aspects, lacked one important thing, high agility. As we all know, the F-22 is a very agile aircraft and in the now days of a rather small chance of a dogfight with a modern Russian fighters like the Su-35 or Su-30, it would certainly be an extremely dangerous opponent. On the other hand, the YF-23 wouldn't. Thus, the decision was made in 1991 and the YF-22 was to become the winner of the ATF program eventually getting its name, the F-22 Raptor. You see, by this time, air combat was moving more and more towards a focus of BVR, but dogfighting was still a realistic scenario, and the current jets that the Russians were using by 1991, the Su-27 and the Flanker family, are still probably some of the most agile aircraft made to this day. So the US didn't want to be left with its pants around its ankles when the Russians came knocking. Of course, there are many other reasons why this jet was chosen over the other one, mainly politics and money. But in my opinion, this agility issue was one of the most important factors that led to the YF-22 being chosen over the YF-23. But this wasn't the end for the Black Widow. At least, not yet. In parallel to the Air Force, the Navy was also looking for a fancy new toy, and the Navy Advanced Tactical Fighter program was also looking for a new stealth 5th gen aircraft that could be used with aircraft carriers, obviously. After losing the Air Force contract, Northrop flipped over and went to the Navy and applied for the Navy program with their YF-23, although they now called it the NATF-23. This version would be slightly different from the main thing. 
It would sport canards, different exhaust nozzles, folding wings, and a reinforced landing gear, along with a landing hook and all the gear needed for those crazy Navy pilots to crash land it without actually crashing it on an aircraft carrier's deck. We'll certainly cover this concept in a future video if there's enough interest, so please let me know down below. There are also some rumors recently about Japan using a lot of information and even getting Northrop involved to help them develop their new fifth or even sixth generation aircraft. And that gives us hope that we'll at least see a similar looking jet sometime in the future. So there goes the story behind one of the best looking aircraft in history, one that looks futuristic even today and would definitely turn heads on an air show while turning also enemy planes into fireballs. So press F in the comments for the YF-23. Smash that like button like the government smashes funds into crazy aircraft projects and hit the subscribe button like a AE ram hitting an enemy jet on the horizon. Thanks for watching, over and out.